Bingo Baptist Hospital has constructed and set up a mini hydroelectric power plant to supply electricity to the hospital. The plant was dedicated and put to use on the 6th of February 2022. Dedicating this uh, hydroelectric power project today had, had a lot of benefits for the hospital. Firstly, the huge bills we used to pay for uh, buying electricity and purchases of fuel to run the generator is now a story because we have continuous electricity from this uh, power uh, system. Uh, secondly, there are programs that cannot be run in the hospital without electricity. Uh, and thirdly, our equipment that used to be destroyed with the lifespan of the equipment will now be insured and we will be able to save money by way of repairing and replacing this equipment. Apart from the stable supply of electricity to the hospital, the hydro power plant has far-reaching benefits on the growth of the hospital in the long run. The hope is that uh, this establishes Mbingo as a major uh, referral center and as a major uh, teaching uh, hospital and that through the Baptist Institute of Health Sciences we are able to continue to develop uh, residency training programs and other uh, medical training programs. For instance, we're doing physical therapy right now, a bachelor level program, and, uh, master's level programs in public health, and nurse anesthesia, and things of that sort. And uh, we hope that we will, especially now that we have stable power and uh, water and infrastructure, oxygen, everything we other thing we talked about today, uh, that, that will open the door to many other things. So, for example, what we are hoping to do is by uh, within the next year or so uh, to have a functional radiotherapy uh, so we can manage our the patients who come here with uh, different types of cancer. The construction of this dam and the installation of electrical equipment to start generating electrical power to Bingo Baptist Hospital will come to solve the perennial problem of effective electrical supply from the national grid. And so this installation will make hospital equipment now to run 24 hours on 7, giving the kind of care to patients that the hospital is envisaging and even the CDC health services, which is nothing less but quality care. The hydropower plant was dedicated alongside an oxygen generation system. The two plants further establishes the hospital as a citadel of healthcare in Cameroon and the African sub-region. Oxygen is a life-saving support, uh, uh, additive or support to those that are critically sick. We have uh, intensive care unit here. We have one in Motengeni already. But if, without oxygen in an intensive care unit, it will not be successful. And therefore, we are hoping that since it has succeeded here, we should be able to replicate it in other hospitals if funds are available. And we are sure that our funders will stand by us to ensure that this is done in other hospitals. So that most of our hospitals, wherever they are, they should become referral hospitals. Funds towards the realization of the hydro power plant were mobilized thanks to the individual and collective efforts of people who believe in the mission of the CBC Health Services. We truly believe in the ministry of the Cameroon Baptist Convention and see the value of what is being done through uh, Mimbingo Baptist Hospital. Uh, Dr. Palmer is one of our missionaries and uh, one of our visionaries. And so uh, it's exciting to, to see God use him in the work that is here, but also we believe in the long-term impact of what's happening through Mambingo Baptist Hospital, and I should say also through the Cam Cameroon Baptist Convention. We truly believe in the things that God is doing through uh, this group of churches. One major problem which often plague projects of that magnitude, limiting the lifespan, is a lack of preventive maintenance. However, Bingo Baptist Hospital has gone a step further in that direction to ascertain that the plan lasts over time. Yes, I can assure the public 100% that everything that it takes to keep this system functioning, to maintain the system and keep it to the optimum function, functionality is in place. I have what it takes to do that. And then we already have a list of maintenance plan in place. 
which we started following up. We have monthly, weekly, yearly maintenance plan that we implement. We even dictate force even before they happen, just to make sure that we don't get into a situation where the system will handicap the hospital. The current power demand of Bingo Baptist Hospital is 175 kilowatts, and the plant is currently generating 315 kilowatts, which means there is room for growth 